So this young lady right here has a very interesting story to share. Let's press play. Um, there's really nothing much for me to say. Ain't nobody ever gonna love me. Ain't nobody ever gonna care for me. This is just what I do. Like, it's the same old story. Like, I was born, I was in foster care, I was in group homes. I'm older now and I'm just doing my thing. Like, I can't keep no job. Every time I get a job, it's just I never had a job longer than two weeks. And I get fired a lot or I just don't get hired. People just not fucking with me. So now I just, I'm just a prostitute and I'm just getting how I live. Like, this is the life I was born to live and this is the life I'm gonna die from. I just accepted the lifestyle. Like, that's why I don't cry. I'm not upset, bro. I don't give a fuck if a nigga fuck, fuck me, give me brother, fuck me, and never talk to me again. I don't care. Like, nobody's gonna love me, and I know that. Like, I don't know why niggas come to them my shit saying all this shit. Uh, 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 bro, that, this is my life. This is what I'm going down from. This is, this is what it is. This, that's it. And that's all I gotta say. There's really, I don't really like talking about my life at all. Damn. Damn. That shit hurt. You know? That shit hurt. Knowing that this is a possible life for some people as far as how she broke that shit down and how she has to cope with that shit and make it that simple, that blunt, and like it's not a big deal to her. That's how she coping with this shit. It's just... That shit hurts hearing that. I feel the pain that she probably can't feel anymore from probably crying nights and nights and endless nights and probably just understand that she has no one. I just wish that she didn't have to resort to that to be her story. It's other ways that she could figure out to fight against her circumstance and her situations. But to be honest, or actually tell her story, who cared enough to tell her the different possible ways to figure that shit out? And as she talks, her eyes look so dead. Like, it's very barely, like, you know, any emotion in that shit. That shit dead. And she's on strictly, strictly transactional stuff just to survive. She wants some survival shit right now. And, you know, when I always cover content on this channel, and I speak about certain things that some women be doing, in the back of my mind, it's always a faint voice saying, that's somebody's daughter. And when it comes to this girl, this, yeah, this somebody's daughter, but whoever that somebody is, don't give a fuck about this damn girl. I think about, you know, me in the future knowing I want to have a legacy. And for my legacy to do what it needs to do, I got to have children. And I'm going to have more than likely, and that, and that litter is going to be a daughter that's going to pop out of that thing. And I'll be damned if my 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 little girl go through any type of feelings like this, any type of life like this. So this shit is just, just like, you know, it always hit different for me. Just seeing and hearing the stories and hearing how someone came to certain situations and shit like that. I blame society. I can't lie. I blame society. I blame representation because we're not loud enough. We're not loud enough. We're not loud enough for the different options that's possible for our children to choose to make it up out of their horrible situations. We're not loud enough. We need to be louder. We need to be boastful. We need to show our children the different possibilities to make it up out of whatever situation that they're in. And we need to make sure we get to places like this in these foster homes because those children right there, they don't have the backbones. They don't have the families. Sometimes they enter the system at later ages and people don't want to touch them. So we need to make sure we are talking to those kids. Those kids need to be priorities when it comes to making sure they have the understanding of different options. As I'm taking in some of this content and I'm growing and I'm learning and knowing that God will and I'm going to be a huge creator with a big influence in the future. I can't just sit here and complain about things being the way they are and not trying at all to be a part of the solution. So the bigger my pull get, the more resources that I have. Young ladies like this, I'm going to do my best to make sure they understand people care about you and you have more options than this shit. Young brothers that's similar and vice versa situation, I think they just gotta hit the streets and just sell dope 
or scam or whatever little silly ass stupid ass shit they think they gotta do to make it up out of their situation i'm gonna make sure that we all let them know there's other options out there and you wherever you at right now please if you have the time the spare time to speak to a youngin let them know it's other options you don't have to be super talented you don't have to dunk a basketball you don't have to rap a song you don't have to run and score a fucking touchdown you have other options you don't have to get pregnant by a rapper you don't have to strip you don't have to sell ads you have other options each one teach one don't hold your tongue each one teach one don't hold your tongue we got a responsibility because you know even though this may be one young lady right here that's speaking but i'm pretty sure it's a lot more other ones that you know that should have been given the information and understand that we got more options than this shit right here i hope she figures something out you know and that's not all she has to resort to in her life if she has you know a lot more of a brighter future prayers go out to her prayers go out to y'all too i'm going to sign up out of here it's your boy stacy and i follow you and the reason why because you you fucks with me hey i'm out